you're not watching TV, so that liberates you from the notion of having to have something like right in front of the, you know, you don't have to pull the, and we don't really want to see the back of a sofa, although we could do that. But I like this, and I love this notion of being welcome to move into the space. We usually start our design process with a rug because it's your lead pattern and it drives the color conversation. But in this instance, we started with the painting, then found the rug. It was our focal point. It's the first thing you see when you come in this house, you open the door, and at this long distance, you see that painting and you see this room. And it's very welcoming. The homeowners came to us because they were stuck. They had this amazing ceiling, but they weren't sure what kind of floor could go with that. That started us thinking about, well, what can the house be? It started to layer upon that, the color for the walls, the fabrics, the pops of color in these velvet and linen pillows, colors of books, the candles, this orange leather, the earth tones, the branchiness in the painting. Everything in this room somehow goes back to that painting. This room is part of a larger remodel of a house that was built about 30 years ago. We wanted to do it sensitively and make it look like it was always this way, not come in and follow some trends. We're always trying to be sensitive to the architecture. In this case, we have this fabulous fur ceiling. After selecting a rug, knowing what size rug we have, we do a furniture plan. We sit with the clients and we say, how do you want to use the room? How many people do you want to seat? Is this for conversation? Is it for lounging? And we build a furniture plan around that. We want it to be super livable and comfortable, a place where they'll be at home. This room is the center of their family and social life. The thing we're most excited about for this project was that we gave a comfortable, lively space to a great family. These chairs, these great leather chairs, age gracefully and they wind up in their son's house someday. Things will last. There's nothing in here that won't stand the test of time. We want every room to be three things. We want it to be durable, we want it to be incredibly useful, and we want it to delight. That's what we're always shooting for. That's what we've done here. That's, that's the art.